As part of our Living Local initiative, we are highlighting local people and places of interest here in Indiana. Tonight, we shine the spotlight on a well-known spot in downtown Indianapolis. No, not only for its blues music, but its rich history dating back to 1850. If Walls could talk, the Slippery Noodle Inn would have one heck of a story to tell. We are officially the oldest continuously operated bar in the state of Indiana in original building on original site. Beyond being known today as a gathering place before sporting events and its live blues music, it's a rich history that's literally embedded in its walls. Situated at the corner of Meridian and South, it first opened as a bar restaurant back in 1850, catering to people coming in and out of the original Union Station. Not the Union Station is there now, but the original wood structure Union Station at Burnt Down. We were one of the hotels for it so that you could stay here. Back building was a stable so you could keep your horse here while you travel. It remained that way until after World War I. With the Great Depression and Prohibition engulfing America, the Barn Inn became not only a place to make booze, but also a hangout for the Dillinger and Brady gangs. In fact, in the back room, you can see some of the slugs embedded in the walls where they used to hold target practice. They were covered up in later years with electrical panels. And when we told, when we tore down our electrical panels, is when we found everything. And then, since then, a lot of the slugs have been removed by patrons over the year. But there's still a few in there that you can't easily get out. Through subsequent years, it was used as a way station for the Underground Railroad, and later a bordello that was until the 50s. It was shut down in 1953 when two guys got in a fight over one of the girls, one knifing and killing the guy and sticking a bloody knife down in the bar. And it wasn't the only death to occur at the inn. Back in 1873, the owner at the time committed suicide in the basement, only to be found days later. And it's believed her spirit and others still roam the inn. I personally have not seen a spirit or spoken to a spirit, um, but I've seen the people that have, and we've got like one delivery guy that will not come back in the building. We had another delivery person that kept coming back all the time trying to find the spirit again. Hopefully the spirits like the blues. Because those are the sounds filling the inn seven nights a week. Some of the best musicians in the country have graced the main stage, right where the Dillinger and Brady gangs once practiced their shooting. As for Hal, whose two sons and wife all work there as well, he sums up the Slippery Noodle with two simple words. It's home. Pretty cool place if you're always looking for unique ideas for stories, or we are rather. So if you've got a person or place you'd like me to highlight, send me a message on my Facebook page, Mike Bars TV, and uh, we might just show up at your place and shoot a story.